uh, forgiveness is extremely difficult. It means uh, dying to oneself, uh, taking up your cross, biting the bullet, and saying no, I refuse to be better. I'm going to get on with my life and make myself better as a result through God's grace. Uh, uh, why uh, uh, the beauty of the church, the church is found in over 200 countries around the world. An update since I last spoke, I am actively working on an autobiography and I it's on hold right now, but I've had a few setbacks, um, but I will not let this uh, discourage me. I have more uh, public speaking engagements, two at the University of St. Thomas and St. Paul on October 24. I had been discerning a vocation with the Franciscan Brothers of Peace, but I've been informed that I will not be able to enter their community. I plan to travel to Spain next year for World Youth Day and hope to speak about my personal experiences at that international gathering. Had I been very blessed in this old life, I've traveled to 15 countries and have had two World Youth Day experiences. I will uh, finish with uh, two quotes and then open it for uh, a Q&A session. Um, one of my favorite movies is uh, The Matrix, uh, where one of the main characters, Stifer, it's a, uh, and Stifer is really uh, their image of Satan. He takes a bite of steak and chews on the tender steak and says, ignorance is a bliss. Ignorance is not bliss of being educated and making informed decisions is blissful. Uh, uh, the second quote I'd like to close with is from Pope Paul VI. If you want peace will work for justice. We live in a very unjust world which is starving for love. Uh, the words of Blessed Mother Teresa resound today. America, this prosperous nation which you all you will be leaders of, is starving for love. Uh, despite my clear challenges in life, I've come to know that God is a uh, very good. Well, thank you very much, Janet. Mm -hmm. And now we'll open it for some questions. I have a question you can start out with, too. Uh, talk a little bit more about your graces. I know different years you talked about and how many you've been through, okay. and how you've actually snapped them? Oh, well, right. I've, I, I've snapped a few pairs over the years. Um, I started walking at two and a half with my first pair of leg braces, and since then I've averaged a pair of 
Ella fue dueña de su mini ankle foot arthrosis, aka leg braces, and I've gone through about about our 10 to 15 pairs that I was about to. And as I was growing as a young kid, I, I the orthopedic surgeon would prescribe a new pair every two to three years. And you know, the pair I started with in 1998 lasted until 2002, and this pair I got in 05 or 06. So as I become an adult, I don't have to replace them quite as much because of stuff growing. Any other questions? What was your major? Uh, sociology. Is anybody helping you with your book, with your autobiography? At this point, no, it's an independent project. Well, my dad, uh, my dad was West Northwest Airlines as the manager of meteorology, actually working for that department for over 30 years. And now he's been transferred to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, working in the same capacity. Uh, for the last year and a half, he's been down there. So it's been a huge perk and blessing to have uh, standby international air travel. What part of Minnesota are you from? I'm from the Twin Studies. What part? Uh, St. area. Have you met many other people who had the, um, apexia? Only a handful. In life's data, there is a national orga organization uh, called the National Ataxia Foundation. Mm -hmm. And as I gain a national and international awareness, of my condition, I want to speak at the national conferences. Yeah. Uh, yes, Bill. Hey, Chan. Um, you know, when you were going to school here, I think it was like 98 to 2002, right? Um, I, I knew Shannon. We went to school together. Um, maybe you want to share with these um, college students what some challenges you face. Oh, some kind of, of myself, like, maybe you want to share as a college student. Oh, some of the challenges I face. I also have attention deficit disorder. And I was on, uh, had to be on medication uh, the entire time I was a student here in order to uh, uh, concentrate on my coursework. Also had to have my readings for each class scanned in a computer in order to complete the readings in a timely manner. I also worked with a number of scribes uh, to complete the written uh, of papers and such in a timely manner. And I had no takers because my handwriting is legible and very uh, labor intensive. Do you face any um, like college students teasing you? or? Like, or Actually, that's very interesting.
think that you bring that a question up. Through my education, as I went on, a college, a college students did not tease me what in grade school and junior high were the worst times. How do you deal with it then? I, and toward the end of grade school, I, it got so bad I had to go to a, a child psychologist at one point because this um, a young boy was relentlessly bullying me and that was a very, a very rough time of my educational career. Uh-huh. Um, good and bad? Not <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, probably the, uh, probably the, what I learned, the, one of the most important things that I learned was uh, the influence of the Spanish language and culture on Catholicism in America. And I learned about the hierarchy of the church as well as the a U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops until I came, until I worked for the St. Cloud Diocese as a peer minister, I, I did not realize there was such a thing as the uh, Council of Catholic Bishops. And I learned uh, the function in the church in America, how, how much political influence they have in Washington. Uh, I learned a lot. One of the difficult things uh, working and living with uh, uh, peers uh, was uh, uh, both political views uh, and personality collections. I won't get into specifics, I'm not going to mention names, uh, but there were some difficult. 